Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's off meta build, we have a very special setup designed around a new condition of finality raid exotic shotgun and what you can do to make it viable in a number of areas. I am still getting used to the exotic and seeing where it excels the most in for build crafting, but as a test run, I found that the strand works pretty well for what we are after. With a bayonet leap and utilizing the voice seasonal mod named Volatile Flow, we will create a setup that can stop champions and minions of the dark easily via strand suspend and the raid shotgun. With this, you can get a 60% damage reduction at a high rate, get free overshields, and also easily create an anti everything build, which can work a charm in legend tier content. If you want to see what an anti BS build is like, then this build will shockingly show you the best way for this. To start, you're going to want to have into the fray where destroying a tangle or casting a super grabs with a melt for nearby allies. While you have with a melt, your melee regeneration is increased. You'll then want to have Drenger Lash where activating your class ability will create a ripple in reality that forwards and suspends targets. To make the new exotic functional with the build, I've decided that the best course of action is to build into the strand side of things so that our suspend animation can work with conditional finality double effects it provides. As the exotic will freeze targets at first and then apply an ignition straight after, it works perfectly against champions of all types as it makes it harder for them to escape and does do some effective damage at the same time. Uh, looking into the fragments, a thread of mind, upon suspending and defeating a target grants class ability, a thread of transmutation, wire with a melt, weapon finder blows will create tangle, a thread of generation, dealing damage generates grenade energy, and a thread of continuity, Increase the duration of suspend, unravel, and sever. Since a bayonet leap will provide with a melting users, you won't need to have the thread of warding in this instance unless you want a much higher uptime with it. Instead, you'll want to maximize your suspend capabilities to make it easier to use all your weapons as much as you like. So, thread of continuity, mind, and generation are a must for the build. Ideally, with us having a higher damage reduction and being able to stop movement, Weapons like Finality will be able to land a shot 100% more better compared to while on the go. This here makes the weapon much more better and accurate and can make dealing damage over the given time frame add up to even more. For the mods and stat section, both resilience and discipline will play a big part within the build itself, but your melee will also help out when things do get rough and I would recommend a tier 5 as the base level to start with. Your resilience stat need to correspond with a bayonet leap's effects so that we can use it as often as possible. So, a tier 8 to 9 is the general sweet spot that most people can aim for with the right mods and armor roll. You can go tier 7 as we do have the threat of mind fragment available, and if you do this then this will free up some more slots for you to further pick. Your discipline now should be around tier 9 to 10 as we will be using suspend grenades that have a standard cooldown rate of 2 minutes 32. With tier 9, you will get a 1 minute 27 cooldown rate, which is good enough for the builds as we can pair this with mods to further reduce the cooldown rate. Grenade Kickstart, Impact Induction, Bomber, and Distribution will help with getting our grenades back faster and easily with what we got. Because of how the build works with getting orbs of power and using them to empower our Surge and Kickstart mod, you will need to have the Solar and Void Cypher mod for both your weapons being used. While also needing to have the heavy handed mod so that our mini kills can net us some orbs as well. Now, when using conditional finality with mods, it works kind of different to what we understand. If you want your weapon to create orbs, then you want to invest into the solar cipher mod as that will be the finisher that net kills. If you want to empower, then having this status surge mod like shown will be needed for making the first shot hurt. You can of course go and add on a status siphon and to the surge mod if you want, but you won't be getting a lot of it since the weapon is mainly designed for hitting hard targets. It's best to invest into where the weapon works best. While you're there, do add on the following armor charge mods such as charged up and stacks and stacks, which will give you a plus one to charge attacks, so your overall will get four charges when active. Lastly, do be sure to add on the special arrow finder mod and this special finish mod so that our weapon can always have ammo available. This will be important as the weapon being used are double special instead of the standard primary and secondary. 
And now, lastly, the weapons being used will be the conditional finality shotgun for the new Loot of Madness raid. If you have managed to get the following weapon to drop, then congrats, as the weapon is amazing at destroying champions and tormentors on legend and master tier content. The following weapon is able to freeze and ignite targets all in one, as this alone is great as the power behind it is quite impressive. I would say that just this on its own is capable of dealing with most combatants without the further need of a build to support it. However, finding a build that works can actually make the weapon 10 times more stronger than what is offered, such as Stasis or Pseudo Subclass. From here, I then decided to add on a Void Secondary and the Heavy so we can make use of the Volatile Float Seasonal Mod. If you have a weapon with Repulsive Brace such as the Horror Denial Trace Rifle, then pair it up with the following build as that extra layer of damage reduction is going to help us in close range combat. The idea here is that with the added on overshield and volatile rounds, once a shotgun is out of ammo, we can rely on the following to help make more ammo while also doing effective level of damage to those suspended or not. I further pair this up with a void machine gun so you can make use of the Brick from Beyond seasonal mod for more heavy ammo, and you can easily have a sustainable build that will constantly feed you back in the right areas and items for survival. The build is a slight weird one that I've come up with recently, as it doesn't follow the usual format I tend to go for. When doing builds, I tend to make the weapons, armor, and subclasses match for maximum efficiency as best as possible. However, this build is kind of all over the place when it comes down to doing these subclass armor and weapons, and yet it works out really well. Using Strand to suspend targets will allow us to get a 60% damage reduction, while also pairing this with a Void Weapon with Repulsive Brace will give us an extra layer of defense as well. From there, our Exotic Shotgun can freely net kills our point blank range against most targets and properly proc its effect with a 100% uptime. We are using Strand, Void, Stasis and Solar all in one small build, and it works pretty damn well in Legend content to be fair. It's an anti-everything build that can shut down a room full of ads once we get suspended in action, and anything tanky like a mini boss can be easily taken out within the time limit we have. Although it's off meta simply because the setup wouldn't work in most endgame content, it can be used in master and maybe GMs, but to a limited degree. The subclass is great for slowing things down like Stasis does, and the shotgun is great against champions and anything that's quite tough. Plus, the damage reduction and ease of use within the armor does allow room and flexibility if required. The only issue though is that using the shotgun against a GM champion, for example, can be hit and miss, and the damage being applied to you may not save you even with the extra layer of protection. I would say that the build excels in content where it's challenging just enough to where you can get in close and use everything that you have available at hand. But the moment you start to go above anything a legend, then that's where a few changes will be required. Overall, I do love the odd setup, but generally it's a kind of hit and miss here and there. But what do you think? So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content share, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.